For research, the main programs are used are Prezi, SlideShare and GoAnimate. All of these programs are off online tools and I chose them because they were easy to access from all the computers that I was working on. I used Prezi to create presentations that could flow in the way that I wanted them to. I felt that Prezi was the best program to use because I could add all of the detail that I wanted and it allowed my work to be annotated, use images and it also had the ability to move from one piece of text to another easily and quickly without the feeling of my work being too slow and boring. I used SlideShare because I wanted to use different online tools and technologies in my work to show different skills. SlideShare was easy to use and it allowed me to transfer a PowerPoint collage I made in Microsoft PowerPoint to be able to be viewed in my blog. Finally, for the research stage, I used GoAnimate to evaluate my findings. I found this easy and fun to create and I feel that it was able to sum up my findings easily and so that they made sense and were clear to whoever was viewing my blog. For planning, I used Blogger, the scanner which I plugged in using the USB part, and I also used the program Final Cut to create my animatic. For most of my planning work, I posted blog posts to show my ideas. I did this because I felt it was the best way to really get across the ideas that I had. I incorporated text and images to really annotate my ideas and to make them as visible as possible. The scanner was very easy to use and I used this to incorporate evidence and written work into my blog to show that I had actually taken time to create and write about what I had done. Finally, I used Final Cut to create my animatic of my storyboard because this was the first time I had used the software program. I found it quite difficult to understand at first, but when I started to use it more, I soon got the hang of it. For construction, I used a lot of hardware, software and online tools. I used a camera, tripod, video camera, Photoshop, Final Cut, Grab, YouTube, BrushEasy.com, FreeSFX.com and Defont.com. When shooting my trailer, I found the camera very easy to use as well as the photo photographic camera when getting my images. When it came to actually creating my products, Final Cut and Photoshop were very easy to use, but I feel that this was because I already knew what I was doing with them. I used Brush Easy in partnership with Photoshop to create my logos for my trailer and then after that I incorporated them into Final Cut to start my trailer off. For all my products I used Defont.com to collect my text and found this very easy to use as I knew what I wanted and typed it into the search bar. To show evidence of my products in the construction process I used the grab tool and the screenshot key to, make scre to take screenshots of the on-screen images and transfer them. The final online tool that I used was YouTube. I used this to try and, and get feedback on my products and put them out there so that the public could see them. I also found it easier to incorporate them into the blog directly from YouTube. Finally, for the evaluation process, I used Prezi, Final Cut, Blogger and Camtasia. I wanted to incorporate four different ways of presenting evaluation feedback to really show off my range of skills. I found Prezi, Final Cut and Blogger the easiest to use, but I feel that this may have been because I have never used Camtasia before and needed a while to get used to it. On Prezi, I used a template already on it. And this ensured that it flowed properly in the way I wanted it to. I incorporated images and screenshots and video footage in the Prezi to show a range of skills and I feel I did this well and it came together the way that I wanted it to. The final cut I recorded myself talking and added other images to play at the same time as I was speaking. I found this easy to do and an effective way of evaluating my products. In Blogger I used a post that included text and images so that it showed another skill in terms of writing ability and putting images to annotate text. Finally, in Camtasia, I opened different pages and images and used a voice of, of myself talking about them as I opened one, each one in order. I feel like I used this program well and yet again it showed another skill I have learned from this.